Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Harry here. Um, well, it's taken me a few days to get everything set up and rigged up so that I can make my vlogs, make my videos easily and enjoyably. Uh, I've got everything set up so it's functional. It's not 100% perfect, uh, but everything works quite well. And uh, I can just settle down now and do some driving and make my videos. Uh, before we get into some driving today, I thought I might give you a tour of my rig and just show you what equipment I'm using and how I've got my rig sort of set up. It's not all expensive top-of-the-line equipment, okay? It's pretty much entry level. Uh, but in saying that, it's not rubbish. I think the, the products I've, I've, got, I've bought and got set up here are good products. Um, they're just not top-of-the-line expensive like the big professional YouTube guns and, and professionals. It's entry-level stuff, but I think it's it's reasonable quality. Uh, so let's have a look around my rig, and I'll show you what I'm using uh, when I play these games. Okay, let's have a look at the most important part of the rig, I guess, and that's the computer. Um, quite new, my old computer was an old rental office computer, uh, which was pretty slow, but this one's cool. I'm running an AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT. And it uh, seems to run everything that I throw at it, so I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. For my flights and games, I use my Logitech Attack 3. Okay, another important part of the rig, of course, is the wheel. I use a Logitech G29 driving force, and it is brilliant. I love it. Again, not top of the line, the best you can get, but for an entry-level wheel, they are great, and uh, if you're getting started in driving or any sort of game, I'd personally uh, really recommend the Logitech G29. Another very important part of the rig, of course, is the seat. This is my Thunder X3. It's a great seat. It swivels. It's really, really comfortable. And uh, yeah, this is the hot seat, folks. And, oops, almost forgot this, my microphone, very important, and that is a Blue Snowball. Not sure of the brand name, I think it is Logitech, uh, but anyway, quite happy with it. Okay, so that's enough talk, guys. We have got a lot of driving to do. Uh, the weather doesn't look crash hot, a little bit of rain, maybe we'll fine up as we go further, but we've got our trailer hooked up, we're going to deliver this tractor. We have got a long way to go. As you can see, it is a long haul. Uh, 622 miles, trip time 12 hours 23. I'll, I'll cut in and out. I won't keep you in the cab with me all that time. You'll go crazy. Uh, but it is a long haul. I love these long hauls. Um, the money mounts up really fast. So we're in Frenzo at the moment. And we're going to end up here, Grand Canyon Village. Quite a big load. I'm not sure how I'm going to go, but uh, it's going to be an adventure. <laughs> That's for sure. Right, let's get underway here. We will have to stop for fuel at some stage, of course, obviously, maybe a couple of times. Just above half a tank at the moment. Uh, but if I'm going past a gas station and it's on my side, I'll make the most of the opportunity and stop for fuel. Uh, now you'll notice I break the speed limit uh, sometimes, well, quite often. 
Uh, the reason I do that is because I'm a tracker, okay? <laughs> That's what trackers do. That's what trackers do. They break the speed limit every chance and opportunity they can get because they're busy. They don't want to be late. They want to get there early. They want to get the job done. I don't think I've hardly ever seen a truck driver sticking to the speed limit. <laughs> Unless they know there's a cop up ahead or a police officer on the road somewhere. Then they'll go slow and stick to the speed limit. Uh, so why should I be any different, basically? Right, we get onto this freeway, we can really put the hammer down. Hopefully make some good time.
as you can see I don't hang around <laughs> ah well that's just that's just life if you can get away with it you've got deadlines you've got money to make the sooner we get there the sooner we can get on with the next job in real life guys I don't do this I don't break the speed limit every chance I get I'm a very slow safe driver uh, but you know when I get into this truck I just sort of take on another personality like a Jekyll and Hyde you know I get into this truck and I just want to go for it uh, but I suppose I should be I suppose I should be better behaved I might come down a little bit and then just stick the cruise control on but we got to get off the motorway here anyway so This looks like peak hour. What is the time? 5 p.m. Yeah, people are going home from work, so it's uh, sort of peak hour traffic at the moment, I think. Let's go for it. Didn't mean to do that. Bit of a scratch on my new truck. The rain's getting worse. And lightning now, it's a real storm. Terrible weather for driving. You better turn the lights on, I think, for visibility. Hello Bakersfield. There was a petrol station up here but it's on the wrong side. I don't want to deviate off this road to get petrol. I want to try and find one that's uh, on my side of the road right where I'm traveling. Saves time and effort. So we'll just keep going. I'm sure there'll be one up ahead here. See that truck driver who just took off through that orange to red light, you see? Just like that, right in front of us. That's what truck drivers do, folks. Oh, there's a policeman. I better not do anything crazy at the moment. The weather you can see here in the simulation is pretty much what it is actually like in real life right now. Outside it's dark, cloudy and raining. Haven't had any lightning yet, but uh, we've had hail this morning. Uh, maybe this microphone will pick up uh, some of that bad weather later on. I'm not sure if it will or not, but it's been pretty bleak, just exactly as it is in the game at the moment. I really am enjoying this game now. I've got it set up properly. It's probably taken me a couple of days of mucking around, um, getting the wheel set up, getting all the buttons assigned and configured. You'll probably notice on my first video the steering was very, very twitchy. The truck was all over the road. The wheel was too sensitive, so I adjusted that. Um, you know, so I got all the buttons assigned properly to make life easy. And uh, now the truck is very, very smooth and very easy to control. So, very, very enjoyable. Oh, I've got it set up. Uh, up till now, of course, I uh, was using the old slow computer and I was driving with my keyboard. <laughs> so the graphics were turned right down, the game was slow. It was still enjoyable, but enjoyable, but it just wasn't that good. It didn't look that good. Uh, but now with the new computer, 
I got the wheels uh, set up. The wheel before was on my PlayStation racing car seat, which I've taken off and put onto this computer, so I can enjoy the, the truck driving simulator. And uh, it really works a treat. Very, very smooth, easy to drive. You know, so now that I've done all the hard work, got everything set up properly, and it's all smooth, we can just um, keep on driving, keep the wheels turning clock up the money and uh, bring in the serious bucks. Just keep on driving. So life should be a lot easier from now on as far as truck simulator. Yeah, that's a nice truck. Looks like a little Chevy or a Ford pickup. I built one like that not long ago. I do uh, kit building, model kit building. Built a yellow, little yellow truck like that. Very sweet. Just gotta say this game is really old but it just doesn't date. It just hasn't seemed to date. The graphics are real good. The trucks look fantastic. The game is great. And uh, there's just so much to do. You've got roads all over the place that you, would just take you weeks and weeks or months or years to really get to know or explore properly. There's that many trucks here, it would take you years to drive them all. And then you can, you can buy options, you can, you can add on things, you can customize them, do paint jobs, all sorts of things. Uh, there's just so much to do. The game has just got that much longevity. Uh, but the main thing is the graphics and the gameplay, and it just hasn't seemed to, to date. It hasn't dated. And uh, it's good to see so many people still playing it, still driving, and still making videos on YouTube. Of course, there are a lot of updates and a lot of mods that have come out for it, but I'm not really into those. I like to just drive it as it is, out of the box. That's what I paid for, and uh, and there's enough here to keep me going for a long, long time without doing any uh, downloading or updating or upgrading or whatever. Looks like we're getting off this road now, turning off this highway. Boy, look at all these roads. <laughs> this is like a bowl of spaghetti. It really does look like a bowl of spaghetti. But we navigated our way through. <clears throat> and we're all good. 1 hour 17 to go. So we are actually getting quite close. Heaps of uh, diesel in the tank, so we'll be fine there. Right, so we're almost there, folks. Mm, wouldn't mind one of those hot dogs. Whoops. Stop looking at the hot dogs. Keep watching the road. <laughs> That's what happens when you get distracted. At least I wasn't looking at my mobile phone. Mm, very bad. Okay, we're coming up now on Grand Canyon Village. So we'll just slow down, pull in here. Oh, 
I wonder if we can drop this load off and uh, in the morning go and have a look at the Grand Canyon have a look out at the view that would be great not sure if we can do that in the game but we can try Right guys, where do you want it? About here. Can't see very well in the dark, but it is quite long, this tractor trailer. Okay, just had a happy little accident there. See that? Uh, so I've gone back a bit. I'll try and come in again. Just about got it, I think. Beautiful. Job done. Look at all those points and all that money coming. Whoa, good stuff. Right, let's have a look. See how our bank account's doing. And that's looking pretty healthy. Seventy-three and a half thousand. Our loan left to pay is forty-nine or just under fifty thousand. So that's looking sweet. Pretty happy with that. Okay, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, it's time to get out of the cab, walk around, <sighs> stretch my legs. Okay, hit the like, um, make a comment, please subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on the next video when we do another long, exhausting, tiring, long haul. And uh, we'll continue to make some big bucks, I hope. Okay, keep well, guys. Stay safe. This is Long Haul Harry saying over and out.